Wellcraft Boats presents Sureholds Clean and Simple Tips. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Sureholds Clean and Simple Tips. Today we're going to talk about one of the tips I get asked about the most, which is what is the proper procedure for using Pro Polish and the Dual Action Polisher together to protect and wax the surface of your boat or your car. Either procedure is going to be the same, so let's take a look at what we need to do this and get right into it. First, of course, we need our Pro Polish Wax. If you have a polymer-based wax, it's going to work the same way. We prefer our Pro Polish. A microfiber towel. Of course, your Dual Action Polisher. We already have our black foam Pro Polish polishing pad on there. We use that for our wax application. They are sold two in a pack. Looks like this. And then our Bright Bonnet. This is for buffing the wax off and it has a vapor barrier inside and we're going to get into that as we go through the steps. So the first thing you need to know is waxing the surface of the vessel is about protecting it. We want to protect it from you know hard water stains we want to protect it from a, we want to protect it from the uv rays of the sun we want to protect it from oxidation and what we're going to do is use these products to protect the surface and give it a nice long hard shine start with our pro polish our dual action polisher and the polishing pad we are going to put the polish on in a mustard circle pattern now I want you to notice this pad has these little dimples in it. These dimples here help keep the pad cool as it's moving along the surface. It also keeps some of that wax from absorbing totally into the pad and keeps it right there where it needs to be. Now when you're working with the wax and the dual action polisher, I like to start out at about a three. You know, you'll have to see where you comfortable working. Don't go too fast. It won't, it'll just make a mess. Don't go too slow. It's not going to do what it needs to do. Next, and probably most important, don't turn the machine on like you're standing like this. The product's going to end up everywhere. Put the machine against the surface of the boat, then turn it on. Now, if you've seen our Buff Magic video of how to compound, you already know about our pattern. And this is our buffing pattern that we use for both Buff Magic and Pro Polish. You go over and up and over and down. And once you've reached the end, we're gonna do the same thing across, down a little bit, across, down a little bit, across, down a little bit. Now, when you're working with the Pro Polish, you wanna make sure that you get it nice and evenly coated and spread, but you really don't need to overwork it. This is a really easy product to use, and it's going to spread really easy and bond with the boat. Now just the same way I started the machine, I stopped the machine in contact with the surface of the boat. Again, we don't want to make a mess. I set the machine down and you can see I have this nice little bit of a haze here. The product is spread nice and smooth and it's making that chemical bond with the boat to protect it. Our next step is getting the excess product off of the vessel and that's what our bright bonnet is for. This is a microfiber shag bonnet with a vapor barrier inside so I'm able to put it right over our wet waxing pad and the wax won't permeate through it and the drying side is going to buff out the wax that is left. Now this we do all the way down at like a one and a half to a two at the most. Again, you want to keep it in surface contact with the boat. This will keep the pad from actually coming off because it's elastic. And we kick it on. And we're just going to do our same pattern. And it doesn't take much. And we've now wiped off the excess wax that hasn't bonded with the boat, leaving behind the bonded wax that has just a beautiful, beautiful protective coating and finish. Now this is going to protect from UV rays, this is going to protect from hard water stains, from rain and water spotting. If you have a microfiber towel, you can hit any edges or crevices you weren't able to get with that pad. But if you take a look at this, we have an absolutely beautiful shine from the Pro Polish. I did a two foot section here in just a minute or two. And what we will do now is go on to our next two foot section. And I like to overlap the spots by about six inches. This way I don't miss anything. Now a lot of people ask me, 
how many coats do I need to put on? Do I need to put on two coats? Do I need to put on three coats? And really simply, what's great about this is any more than one coat isn't going to make it last any longer or do any better. One coat gives you maximum protection. Save the effort for the second coat to do down the road. Think of it like applying sunscreen. If you put two coats on right now, it's not going to make it last any longer. So we want to get a nice coat of protection on your surface. If you live up north, we want to go, you know, three months, four months, halfway through season, put another coat on. So you're looking at about twice per season. Down here in the southern climates, three to four times per season. Again, one coat each time, you'll make it around the boat a lot faster. Top sides may need it a little sooner, hulls a little bit less, but you'll have to use your eye and see where you're at. But preventative maintenance is always going to make it easier and better. And a product like this is going to seal and protect. Use the Pro Polish, use the Dual Action Polisher, and before you know it, you will be polishing like a pro and your boat or your car is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Until next time, Keep your boat, car, truck, or RV clean and simple.